Hey, how's it going everyone? We are back once again with Final Whistle and that is right, the official here we go from the Don himself, Fabrizio Romano. As a United fan, you all know I'm a diehard United fan. Manchester United has done it. They have pulled off the impossible and signed Rafael Varane. It is absolutely unbelievable, guys. I do not know what to say about this. I, I am shocked, really. I am speechless that we have actually made this happen, but I have so much to say, guys. But if, guys, if you're returning viewers, you'll know if I've changed my background a bit. I've moved into my room, and I will be decorating this. If you guys would like to me to put up some new pictures, let me know what you guys want to see. But guys, we'll jump straight into things. Hit that sub button. Hit the like button. I'm loving the positivity on the channel. And whatever you guys think about this transfer, drop it in the comments. And we're going to jump straight into things. But guys, we'll start off with the details of this transfer from himself, the man, Fabrizio Romano. He has come out saying in his details, Manchester United are preparing paperwork for F Rafael Varane. Done deal as reported today. Official announcement after details will be sorted. Fee around 50 million euros. Here we go. Those three words that the man himself, the Italian god, Fabrizio Romano owns. And he has said it. Here we go. Rafael Varane will be joining Manchester United. And he comes out with more details a couple hours after that. Saying more details. Rafael Varane contract with Manchester United will be on a four year basis with an option to extend until June 2026. Personal terms agreed since days and paperwork prepared in last few hours. So Fabrizio even said it on United Stand. He said the official bid, the official transfer fee will be done in the next coming hours, he said, or the shortcoming days, which are not a shock. But I'm going to dig into the details before I go into what I really think about this and what I really enjoy about this deal personally and how I think it'll help the team. But guys, more details here. He will be coming into Manchester United and flying in for his medicals in the coming days. But because of the quarantine uh, rules, I guess you could say, the English quarantine stuff going on between England and Spain and everything else, he will go undergo his medic medical in the coming days. But with the quarantine rules, his camp is expected to be unveiled as an actual Manchester United players in next week. So this is obviously 100% going to happen. Now here we go. It's all done. Done deal. Brilliant. We'll move on from the the details and all that stuff. Breach also said 100% done deal. Varane will fly to Manchester this week, but will undergo his medical a few days later. So it is obviously happening in the next coming days or the week. Just because of that quarantine garbage. But, I want to dive into what I really think about this deal. Rafael Varane joining Manchester United. My club, Manchester United. So, what do I think of this deal? I, I love it. It's For me, he is top three center backs in the world. I would probably put up him up there with Kimpembe and many others. Ruben Diaz, Virgil van Dijk. He's, I, for me, Rafael Varane is top three, top five center backs in the world. And if you want to argue it, go for it. Argue it with me in the comments. I would love to talk to you guys about this. Because I think Varane is by far one of the best center backs in the world. And you can look at it just from his caliber. What he's won, what he's done, his experience, his winning mentality. It is absolutely phenomenal, guys. It, he has three La Liga champions, championships. Four Champions Leagues. He has more Champions Leagues at Real Madrid than he does at winning the league. And he's also won a World Cup. You can't doubt the man. He knows how to win. He has the experience. He's been there. He's done that. And like I said, I love experience. If you look at this Manchester United team, there's not too much winning mentality in there. We've lost Europa League final. We've lost We've lost multiple semifinals. And I've been saying it for a while, Manchester United needs to go out there and they need to sign some winning mentality players. Some guys who have been there, some guys who have done that, some guys who know how to get it over the line. And that that's one thing I love about Varane. He has won multiple trophies and it's massive that we've got this done. Did I ever think this would happen? No, I actually never did. If you would have told me back in May, I would have thought you were crazy, I would have thought... You were insane because I never thought Manchester United would go out and pull off a Rafael Varane type of signing, a tier one and elite world class signing. I thought we would have got a Pau Torres, a uh, who else, a Ben White, for example. And if you really want to take a laugh, take the Mickey out of someone, go laugh at Arsenal. Arsenal have gone out and signed Ben White for fifty million euros. 
and we've signed Raphael Varane from somewhere in the region of 40 million euros to 50 million euros. We've signed a world-class, elite, top, top, top tier center back for the exact same price. Arsenal have signed a English Ben Shite from Brighton, who has had an unbelievable year at Leeds. Yes, albeit in Championship, who which league I rate unbelievably high, and then a oh, decent year at Brighton, and then he got called up to the Euro squad. But we obviously know there's the England tax on there and all that BS. But the fact United have got this on such a bargain, yes, may it be he has a year left, but you're getting one of the best center backs in the world on one of the cheapest deals and one of the cheapest bargains, I think, out there in football you'll see in the next years. Because you'll never get a deal like this again for one of the world-class center backs. Center backs are hard to come to find, and when you get one this elite level, this is unbelievable for Manchester United. How do I think he'll impact the team, Raphael Brand? I could talk about Brand for the next 20 minutes, but I want to keep this de- video decent for you guys and uh, enjoy. How do I think he'll impact the team? Mm. I think he'll impact it massively. We'll start, obviously, from the back, because that's where he's playing. You're going to have Luke Shaw, the best left back in the world. Harry Maguire, the best partner, best one of the best left-sided center backs in the world for me. We saw that in the Euros, and the best left-sided partnership with him and Luke Shaw. Unbelievable. And then you have Rafael Varane, finally a perfect center back pairing for Harry Maguire, who will play alongside Juan Bissaka or maybe Trippier. We don't know that yet. So, you look at what does Varane bring to this team? What does he change in the back line? Well, Harry Maguire's traits, guys. He's an unbelievable ball passer of the ball. He is unbelievable in the air, defensive, out of this world. He's great defensive-wise. He knows where to be. He knows how to win the ball. He knows how to put in a brilliant challenge. He knows how to block the ball, clear the ball, head it, aerial duels, everything you name it. What does Harry Maguire lack? He lacks speed. M- lots of speed. He's very slow, extremely slow. What else does he lack? Winning men- He doesn't lack winning mentality. He lacks knowing how to win, how to get it over the line. And this is where Varane brings and shines for me. Varane is extremely fast. Varane has won Everything you can win at the club level with Real Madrid. He has won multiple titles. He is intelligent. He is experienced. His mentality is top level. And he's just the perfect partner for, for Manchester United's Harry Maguire. It lets... What else does it let us do? It lets Maguire play his game. He lets the left side of the center backs play his game. He lets Juan Bissaka play his game. And another thing he lets us do is he lets us step up that back line. That back line was so far back, it was hard to play it through the lines, work it to the defensive midfield, and get it through to Bruno, get it through to Rashford, get it through to Martial and Edison Cavani. But what we'll see now, hopefully from Ole, which we saw in multiple games when Bailly did play with Maguire, was we step up that back line. We try to play with a higher back line. It is talked about how Ole wants to play an attacking lineup, a more attacking suited team. And I think Ole really pushed this to get this through because all I knew Varane would be perfect for him to play an attacking setup. Because then Ole will have a higher line. He can play two more attacking def- uh, midfielders. He needs to buy that defensive midfielder. That's the glue that's going to hold his play style together. But Varane lets you do so many things. Push up the back line. Harry Maguire plays his style. Luke Shaw can keep playing his style. Aaron Wambasak can keep playing defensively, but he needs to learn how to attack. And this just brings in a world-class elite defender. For one of the biggest bargains you'll ever see in football. And this transfer is unbelievable, guys. I don't know how to say anything more. I'm just going to give you his stats from last year because it just elevates even more. And before I go into stats, I just want to say, Ferran doesn't get injured. The only time he was injured was when he was sick. He was ill. One was because of COVID. I think he had some little muscle injury. He's only missed, I think, two weeks ever in his whole football career. He's played 10 years at Real Madrid. And it's just unbelievable to see. But I'm going to just throw, throw the stats quickly to you guys before I go on to wrapping up the video. He played 31 matches in La Liga, 9 in the Champions League, 2,715 minutes last year in La Liga, with 810 in Champions League, having two goals in La Liga. Phenomenal stats, really, guys. But before I wrap it up, I want to say he played 10 years in Real Madrid. He was talked, he was either Real Madrid or Manchester United. Sir Alex pushed, pushed, pushed to try to get him to join Manchester United. 
never got over the line. He wanted Real Madrid. Fair play. He chose a brilliant club at that point of his stage. And I think he's coming to us in his prime, though, you guys. It is the peak of his career. It is his prime. And that is what he's given us. He is giving us till he's given us four years. So that's till he's 32 with an extra year onto it. So he, he'll probably be 33 once he stays with us. And one more thing before I wrap this thing up is Varane said to Real Madrid he wants to play in the Premier League. And he respectively left. He didn't say, he didn't work up a fit. He didn't put in his transfer request. He worked it out with Real Madrid. They talked it out. He worked it out very nicely. That's what I love about him. He wasn't a pushy guy. He wasn't arguing. He was very respectful about things. And that's what I like in footballers like him. But the fact he wanted Manchester United, he didn't want anyone else. He wanted to play in the Premier League. He's won everything. Super quick center back. Fits all his style. We should be able to attack more. Harry Maguire is going to be better. Luke Shaw, Wamba Saka, and the whole team. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Best time, best summer so far ever as a United fan myself that I can remember. I'm 19, and this is the best summer I can remember so far as a United fan. But guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. Let me know what you guys think of the transfer down below. Hit the sub button. Hit the like button. I appreciate all of the positivity on the channel. But guys, hope you guys have a great start to your day and a great rest of your day. But guys, I'm going to wrap things up right here. Peace.